points and nine rebounds. This is going to be a painful way for the Heat season to come to an end. And for a franchise with three championship teams, this is going to be one of those teams that the fans remember for a long, long time, despite the fact that they fell short of their goal. Caldwell Pope can't connect. Now the bio pulls down another rebound. And James throws it too far ahead. Davis can't get it and throws it out of bounds. That's total triple doubles in the playoffs. And as we mentioned, 11 just in the finals alone. Jason Kidd, now the assistant coach, won his title back in 2011 with the Dallas Mavericks. And LeBron James on the verge of his fourth NBA championship with his third different team. Duncan Robinson looking for an open teammate. Well, Linux not going to get it off in time. And a 24-second violation. You know, the expectations as we got a timeout. Always so high in Los Angeles. LeBron James throws it down. Again, they, they had a six-year drought of not making the playoffs. Haven't won a title in 10 years now. For a lot of teams, that's business as usual, but not the Lakers. They have spoiled their fans. And with Anthony Davis arriving, a technical foul call on LeBron James. If you can jump that high, I think you should be able to slap the backboard. But I want to go back to that graphic, and I'm not nitpicking, but when you talk about Laker great duels winning the championship, I think after Shaq and Kobe, you can add Kobe and Pau Gasol. You're correct. They won titles in 2009 2010 but this one was this was not an easy championship even though the ex expectations were high with all that went on during the course of the year starting back in the preseason with that geopolitical fallout in China then the death of David Stern the death of Kobe Bryant the suspension of the season the pandemic and then you throw in the basketball part with the West was loaded with the Clippers and the Nuggets and the Rockets. Even the, the eight-seeded Blazers were picked by some to upset the Lakers in the first round. Well, if you're talking top to bottom, they are the champions, but they are not the most talented team in the league. But give them credit. They fought adversity, defended a high level, they embraced their role and great leadership and the job done by Frank Vogel and the rest of the Cavs. They're going to finish the playoffs 16-5. and five. They beat Portland, Houston, and Denver all in five games. There's LeBron James ready to celebrate, and they'll vanquish Miami here in six games as we approach three minutes remaining. Two great stars, excellent coaching. Rob Palenka, who acquired Anthony Davis and several others, both before and during the season. It just all came together. And it's in such an environment where there are no fans as Duncan Robinson misses a three. And it's just such a, a different way for them to celebrate and to play the game. I think the game has been played at an incredibly high level from start to finish here in the bubble. Joe, I, I think you're so right, Jeff. The, the challenge of this bubble cannot be overstated. As we're under three minutes remaining, they are ready to celebrate Los Angeles and certainly here in the bubble with the Laker people as Tyler Hero knocks down the three. Now, Mike, you're right. The challenges of the bubble, not just on the court, but to me, even more so off the court. And this one has to be so satisfying for LeBron James. He missed the playoffs last year because of... The injury during the season, Lakers did not make it. There was talk about other players surpassing him as the best player in basketball. He hadn't missed the playoffs in 14 years. Came back. They had the best record in the West as Jimmy Butler's season is over. And what a magnificent playoff performance from Butler. Two legendary NBA Finals games. James wants to finish off with a three instead of going inside. Lay it up and in. 
as we hit two minutes remaining here in game six. Look, I'm Frank Vogel. I'm taking LeBron James and Anthony Davis out of this ballgame now. Take a bow. Well deserved, champs. Olenek throws it up and in. Some substitutions ready to come in. Just throw the ball out of bounds to get him out. Says the guy who preaches play the right way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just don't want a timeout, a, a needless timeout. Kendrick Nunn knocks down the three. And now Frank Vogel calls a timeout. LeBron James. No, but I want to take a moment. A tough year in L.A. They win the championship. I just want to shout out Vanessa Bryant and the Bryant girls. Thankful for your husband's example, his leadership, his guidance. This team, the Laker teams as champion, leaves their huddle and says one, two, three, Mamba. I just hope that this puts a smile on their face. Understanding the impact. Thank you. You know, Mark, it's, it's going to be a wonderful celebration for the Laker fans. But as you mentioned, the last time they all came together was back in January. And it was in profound sadness with the loss of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and those seven others. But tonight, the Laker fans can unite in joy as they celebrate a title. Under a minute remaining. And what a way to close out this championship season. As you see, Davis and James, it's all coming out. You know, one of the, to me, one of the great pleasures of this job every year is watching they become little kids again when that title is realized, when it's finally over, and all the work, all the sweat, all the practices, all the travel, and in this case, all this time in the bubble ends up with what they all set out for as their number one and only goal. You know what? Each guy invested, and LeBron is thinking, I promised this guy this. I told him that things would be different. And to finish it off, they all should be extremely proud. Well, Lennox puts it up at him. Caruso will bring it up. LeBron James already celebrating. I'm sure they are back in Los Angeles again. That's why now it knocks down a three pointer. There's the exclamation point. And the Heat will just bring it up. As the Lakers will win game six. And now Cook can just dribble it out. And J.R. Smith already shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> Final seconds here in this NBA season. The respect from those two. And that's it. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble. And banner number 17 will soon hang in the rafters. Such an emotional time for these L.A. Lakers and also emotional for Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. As we said, a painful way for a great season to come to an end. Always so inspiring when an individual or a team overachieves or accomplishes the unexpected. That's what the Heat did. But they ran up against a Laker team that defensively just steamrolled them here tonight. So much more ahead in the celebration, the trophy presentation, the naming of the finals MVP. It's all ahead as the Lakers win the 2020 championship.